This video is for you if you're frustrated with trading. I know what it feels like to try this over and over and over and then to literally feel like you're making zero progress. And the solution comes not from learning more information, not from trying to predict where the market's going to go, not by doing all the things that you probably think you need to be doing, but instead I'm of the opinion that the solution simply comes from your mental approach to how you're going about learning trading. Most people are unhappy because reality does not meet their expectations. So most people, by definition, become happier if they simply lower their expectations. Then reality meets their expectations or oftentimes exceeds their expectations and people are happier. And when you're happier, you tend to not be frustrated. In this video, I'm going to lay out how I was able to get over my frustration when I was learning trading. And hopefully you can do the same thing. Nothing I say is financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. This is just my opinions here in this video. I've been trading for about eight years and over six of those years have been profitable. And while you may feel like you're not able to connect to me because I've been doing this for so long and I've been doing this for years profitably and maybe you're still in a location where you're not profitable yet, I want you to know that I know what it feels like and I've gone through everything that you're probably going through right now. I figured a way out and I just want to share it with you here in this video. So I'll first start with the real simple part. That way, for those of you who have to leave the video, you can just watch this next part, then you can leave if you want. And everyone else, you can stay a little bit longer till the end, and I'm going to break it down more. All you have to do, essentially, is lower your expectations and no longer try to get profitable per se, but instead approach trading as just like you're just throwing darts at a dartboard, and you're just seeing what happens to hit near the bullseye. Now, how do you do this? You define a very simple trading system, then you define a very simple risk structure, and then you just take whichever trades you think are okay to take, you do it on a demo account, and then you simply track the trades that you take. So just put a screenshot of the trade and then like a one sentence explanation of why you took the trade and what happened. What this does is it allows you to no longer approach trading with any type of unreasonable expectations. It just allows you to say, Here's how I'm going to structure my approach. I'm like, I'm going to buy at support and sell at resistance. It can be that simple. That's your simple trading approach, right? Super simple. Um, then for the risk structure, you could say, I'm just going to risk one. I'm going to risk a hundred dollars on each trade and I'm going to use a one to one risk reward ratio. And that's just going to be my risk structure. Now you're keeping things simple. You're controlling risk. So you do this. And then whenever you do this, it allows you to very simply and predictably make progress because you're doing the same set of decisions relatively over and over again. And then you're also tracking what you're doing so that you can look back at the end of every trading week and just see all the trades you took and then you can see what happens. This allows you to no longer try to pursue following a strategy or trying to make things too rigid or black and white. There's no absolutes in trading and nobody knows what's going to happen. And so the only way you can be profitable is by controlling risk. And so when you approach it this way, it allows you to just kind of collect data and collect experience. And then all you have to do is after a couple weeks, a couple months, You'll have the experience and you'll have the data and you can just look at the data and use your experience to ask yourself, okay, based on everything I've done, what seems to work best? And whatever seems to work best, you can just do more of what works and less of what doesn't. If you do that, all you have to do is just make a little bit more money than you lose overall and then you're profitable. Now, only 10 to 30% of people statistically become profitable. So, you know, obviously most people fail whenever they're trying to do this. But I think most people fail because they're not approaching it correctly, in my opinion. This is that approach. I'm going to go into more detail right now. That's it for those of you that have to leave right now. You can leave the video. I've already told you everything. I'm just going to go into more detail for those of you that want to actually see a, a closer framework for doing this. So let's go to a chart here. <laughs> now, oftentimes... Whenever people get into trades, right, you may sell at resistance, buy at support, something really simple. When it doesn't work, you get frustrated. So then you start trying to learn more information about how to predict the market. You start trying to figure out, like, should I use a bigger risk reward? Should I use a, some type of specific entry confirmation on a specific time frame or do something? In my opinion, none of that matters. Anywhere you enter on the chart, price has a 50% chance of going up or down. That's just my opinion. The, the profitability comes in the way that you manage risk and the way that you manage trades once they begin to unfold. If you can on average lose a little bit less from all of the cumulative basket of your losing trades, 
versus the net profits that you make in your profitable trades if you just make a little bit more than you lose you're profitable so here's how i would approach trading if i was in your shoes being frustrated that nothing seems to work number one define something simple i'll give you a simple trading approach you can start with right go to the daily time frame <laughs> look at where current market price is at just draw what you think is the most clear resistant zone above price and the most clear support zone below price. It doesn't matter if you get the zones right or wrong. Keep in mind, no matter where you draw the zones, price is only going to bounce there 50% of the time and break there 50% of the time, statistically, because price just goes up or down. Support resistance doesn't help you predict the market. It just helps you control risk, which leads me into step number two. Number one was you define a simple trading approach. That's it. You can buy a support, sell at resistance on the daily chart. Yay. That's it. That's the whole trading approach. Okay. Second part comes in controlling risk. So you're keeping things simple. Number one, number two, you're controlling risk. You can support resistance gives you a way of controlling risk because you can enter a short position at resistance zones. So you can enter a sell, a short position, whatever you want to call it. You just put a stop loss past the zone. And just to start, set a take profit of a one to one. That's it. And then just let things play out. Overall, this system, you're already starting with about a break-even trading system. And that's a hell of a lot better than 70 to 90% of people that are losing money. At least if you do this, statistically, if you only have a one-to-one -one risk reward ratio and you only have a 50% win rate, it's roughly a break-even system, minus a little bit of like swaps and commissions, like trading fees and stuff like that. But with Forex trading on a leverage broker, the fees are so small, it's not really that big of a deal. So you're already at a break-even system. That's great. The edge comes in to you getting data and experience. If you notice that you're selling at daily resistance zones when price appears to be in a pretty clear uptrend, like when price is going like this, up and down and up and down, it's, it's like a really, really, really obvious uptrend. <laughs> the, the data that you'll get from your trades, you can look and you can say, you know what? If I think price is in an uptrend and it's coming up to a daily zone, Maybe it's better if I don't take those trades and instead I just wait for price to break past the daily zone, then pull back. Then I can actually buy and it'll be at a daily support resistance zone. And on top of that, it'll also be an uptrend. So it's kind of like, it's like a trade that might work out easier. The only way you learn that is not from gurus on YouTube like me. It's not from courses that you could buy from anyone. It's not from any signals channel that you follow some person who calls all their trades. The way that you learn that is just through experience. And you don't have to buy any courses from anyone. You don't have to go through a hundred videos on YouTube to learn that. You can learn this just by going and doing it yourself on a demo account over the course of a couple weeks and a couple months. And what's cool about this is that, you know, you're not even trying to be right. All you're doing is you're just doing whatever you think is best. You're not worrying exactly where the support resistance zones. You're not worried if you're quote unquote getting it right because there's no such thing as that in trading. You're not worried about like optimizing the perfect risk to reward ratio. You're just having a dirt simple starting point for building your data and experience. The rest of this comes <laughs> as time goes on. Your profitability will be a combination of your trading decisions, the way that you manage risk, the way that you manage your trades after you enter them and all of that. I'll give you an example here. Let's say that prices come up here. So you take a short position. And then whenever you take this short position, we'll say this trade won. Okay, cool. So you won one unit of reward. If you risked a hundred dollars, you've made a hundred dollars. If price comes down here to the support zone and then you just say, okay, it's at support. My trading approach is, you know, buy at support, sell at resistance for you, for example. <laughs> so you have a stop loss below the zone and a one to one risk reward ratio. Say the trade starts to bounce at the zone, but then it comes back to the zone and then it starts going sideways. The cool part about this is after you get more data and experience, you can make decisions like this right here. You can say, you know, price has come to the support zone. If it's going to bounce, usually it'll only test here like once or twice, then it will go. It'll come back to the zone. It'll test the zone. It'll just bounce. It'll come back to the zone, test the zone, it bounce. If it comes to the zone and you enter, then it starts going sideways. You could say, oh, you know what? I've seen this happening and like 70 to 80% of the time, if it comes to the zone and it barely starts bouncing and making lower highs, usually it generally means it's going to break the zone. 
This is just an example, right? I actually do this, but that's beside the point. What's, what's more important is you seeing the logic behind how you come to find things like this, which is if you've seen this happen over and over and over again, you can say, oh shit, this looks like it's gonna break the zone. So instead of getting my stop loss hit, let me just close up here and like a small loss or a small profit or pretty much around break even, right? So then you've mitigated that potential losing outcome to be a break even outcome. And I'll give you another example. <laughs> That's you're losing less on a losing trade, right? You started with the one to one just to structure the trade. And with the one to one risk reward ratio, it gives you some room to kind of manage trade based on the context and price action after you enter. And again, you learn all of this by just doing whatever you think you should do, collecting that data. And as you gain that experience and you look back on that data and you start to notice things, you start to notice the correlations between winning trades and losing trades, how to increase the profitability. So let's say price comes back to this resistant zone and you sell. <laughs> and you put a stop loss above the zone. And you have a one to one profit target. Let's say that price comes back up into the resistant zone. Tests here makes a double top. So it breaks this zone, then it pulls back up and it retests the previous little recent low that it made. So something like, you know, this little zone in here. So then what you believe, you believe that it's still likely that price is going to pull away from this zone. But instead of taking a one to one profit target, you add to the position. <laughs> so now what you can do is the original stop loss was 62 pips, right? 63 pips. If you cut that in half and make it like 30 pips, it's still above the recent highs. You can enter this trade. You can make this stop loss also 30 pips. It's still above this little zone right here. So if it breaks above, you're still going to get stopped out. So if it continues up against you, you lose worst case scenario, one unit of risk because you know, you had a hundred dollars risk at 60 pip stops. Now you've dragged both of them, you know, to like halfway and you're still using the same lot size. And so if it stops out, you're still only losing one unit of risk because you've added to the trade. Yes, but you've also decreased your invalidation size, stop loss size. So if it bounces here, the cool part is if it just gets to a one to one for each position, which was 64 pips, you win double what you risked which is really cool to risk a hundred dollars and you added to the trade, moved your invalidations and stop loss zones. And then now you've made $200 on the trade. What gets even cooler is that if you think price is going to move from here and, and come all the way down here to the support level, <laughs> you can just hold your trades down here and every single trade since the original invalidation was 60 pips, if this goes to 140, let's just say 120 for simple math, right? 120 pips, you've made $200 on that. And if you hold this one to like 120 pips, you've made another uh, $200 on that. And if you just close it up here, right, maybe like uh, 100 and 150 or something, right? Anyway, so like 150 plus 200, this is $350. But the whole time you still only risked $100. Now, what I've just done here it just shows the dynamics and everything in trading. It shows that you can do truly whatever you want, but you're only going to be able to get there if you start with something simple, such as, you know, literally just selling at a daily resistance zone with a one to one risk reward ratio. I'm going to recap everything real quick because I want you to leave this video knowing exactly what to do. Start a discord server with just you in it. And every time you take a trade, copy and paste the trading view link and put it in that discord server, put one sentence. It doesn't even have to be a complete sentence. Just put a little phrase about why you took the trade sold at daily resistance, something that simple, right? Whenever the trade completes, take a screenshot of it, put it in your discord server. It's private. It's just you. And you could do this for free. Just go to discord. You can set it up in like 15 seconds, right? That's your trading journal. So you're tracking your trades. You're getting data. After you put the after screenshot of the trade, just write what happened. Say price uh, range went sideways and it hit the stop loss. You know, price went straight to the profit target. Price went close to the profit target, then pulled back. And I thought it wasn't going to work. So then I closed right there at like halfway to the profit target. Whatever happened, just write it out in one sentence and keep it real simple. 
this allows you to systemize what you're doing because you're taking trades you think are working and, and what you think is going to happen and you're tracking the data and then you're going to go back and look at that data just once a week at the end of every week when the markets close sit down on like a saturday or a sunday look back at all the trades you took this doesn't take more than like 15 to 20 minutes usually look at the before screenshots the after screenshots the reasons you took the trade and try to find what you think the correlations are you don't have to be able to write them down. You don't have to articulate them or, or communicate them or any type of stuff like that. You don't have to label it. Just make note of what things look like for winning trades and losing trades. As you do this week after week, month after month, and then in my case, year after year, you slowly start making incremental progress to become better and better and better. And then when you finally get to that point of profitability, which you're probably going to notice, is that you're able to make nuanced, subtle trading decisions depending on the specific context of the specific trade you take. And you're no longer obsessing over trying to follow a frustrating trading strategy. That doesn't always work in every context. A trend system will not really work well in a ranging market. A ranging market system will not work well in a trending market. You're going to be frustrated if you continue trying to just stick rigidly to a strategy. So in my opinion, it's better to just abandon a strategy and then instead opt to just keep things simple and control risk. If you do that and you track the data in a really simple like Discord server or like a Google spreadsheet or something like that, it allows you to collect that data and then it, get, then it gets you the experience. And not only do I think does this make a lot more people profitable, though I cannot guarantee you anything, I also think it's a more fun way of learning trading. Because you don't have to hold yourself to, to what I believe are unreasonable black and white absolute rules. Trading is not so much a science with actual mechanics as it is, in my opinion, a art. I'm convinced that trading is mostly an art. It's maybe like 10% science because like, yes, you have to define your trading approach and define your risk. But those things are very simple, right? This, this, the approach can be as simple as let me buy like during an uptrend, if price pulls back 50%, right? If the 50% Fibonacci retracement or some shit like that. So I'll buy there, I'll put a stop loss below the previous low and a target at a higher high, right? Something simple for you to execute every time that doesn't have a million layers of complexity, just something consistent and predictable to just get you to make similar trading decisions for pretty much every trade. And then you start there and you track the data. And then over time, you let your data and experience tell you what's working and what's not working and then simply follow what the data suggests. Just do more of what works and less of what doesn't based on what the data and your experience have taught you over the course of a couple of weeks and a couple of months. If you do this, I'm of the opinion that I think you're more likely to get profitable. I'm of the opinion that it might be also way more efficient and be way quicker. And I'm also of the opinion that you're also gonna have way more fun and you'll be happy and you'll no longer be frustrated. If you'd like to see me trade live and see how I do this every single day, I've got a free Telegram channel. If you hit the first link in the description, it'll take you to my website. And at the very top is a button you can click and you instantly join my free Telegram channel. I do this every day. I share all my setups. I share all my live trades. I literally just share it all with complete analysis there in that Telegram channel. And I've done it for over five years. This comes from a person who's been through everything that you've been through. This comes from a person who has already solved literally almost every single problem that you are currently going through right now if you're not yet profitable i know what it's like this is how i was able to get out of that rut when i stopped having shiny object syndrome and trying to do all this different stuff and instead just focused on one simple trading approach and tracking my data literally in the notes section of my phone back in 2017 at the beginning of the year when i just started doing that it only took me a couple months to become profitable. I started this at the beginning of 2017, doing it this way. And then by the summer of that year, I was profitable. So it was only like three, four months for me. And that was just because I was just tracking what I was doing and building my experience and focusing on one simple thing and just doing that simple thing over and over and over. The only reason I'm profitable is because I make a little bit more than I lose. And the only way I can do that is simply by keeping things simple and controlling risk. I don't consider myself a very smart person, but I consider myself a person that likes to lower the complexity of things for the sake of embracing simplicity and only focusing on the core constituent components of what I believe works. And I believe that if you keep things simple and control risk, 
I think you're way more likely than 70 to 90% of people that lose to actually get profitable. I hope you found this video useful. Make sure you hit the first link in the description if you'd like to watch me trade live every day for free in my Telegram channel. And I hope to see you in the next video. So get out there, go start that Discord server or a Google Sheet to track your trades. Keep things very, very simple. Have a simple trading approach. Just define it in one sentence. Like I'm going to buy it, support, and sell it resistance on the daily chart. Something real simple to start with. If you're keeping it simple and then controlling risk, just start with a one-to-one -one risk reward ratio, it's fine. Do all this stuff and come check back here on this video with me in a couple months and leave a comment to let me know where you were. I will see you in the next one, my friend. Hope this helped. Cheers.